Hi there, welcome to week three. I hope you're enjoying the Agent Take AI certification program so far. In this first lesson in week three, we are going over making your first LLM calls. And this is an introductory lesson here. And there's some examples we go through. There is a code repository attached to this lesson as well, um, which we recommend that you go through the, the code here. But it's very easy, straightforward. And so I won't walk you through the code, but instead take the opportunity to talk about the coding standards that we expect, especially as you're starting work on your project for module one, we want to bring some, uh, you know, uh, bring up some guidelines regarding the code. Okay. So one of the first questions I wanted to cover here in this video is why aren't we using Jupyter Notebooks? And really the, there is nothing against Jupyter Notebooks. They're wonderful for teaching purposes, especially this is a teaching program. However, our emphasis in this program is more on real world practical applications uh, as we do them, as we build them in industry. And so for that reason, uh, we are really focusing on writing code uh, the, the way we would do at ReadyTensor, which is through uh, formal repositories and scripts. Now, in terms of the code quality, we do have some expectations around when you submit these projects, when you submit your code repositories, what we are expecting from you. There is a, uh, there is a publication on the ReadyTensor platform around the best practices of uh, code repositories. You can check it out. But the key point I wanted to cover here uh, regarding this is when you submit your project, especially the code repositories, there are three tiers here that the work could be judged uh, by. And we are looking for you, your projects to meet the essential tier. Okay, so essential is for like the, the most basic level projects. Professional is for anything that we would really put into a production system. And elite level uh, uh, assessment is for projects where these are part of like big community projects, initiatives, open source initiatives. And so you're expecting a large community of developers to contribute to it. Uh, your project will be graded on the essential level, so make sure that you're meeting that. Now, to make it easy for you, there is a code repository, a, a tool we've developed, which you can use and you can run it on your uh, code repo. So uh, clone this repo and then you can run it. You can point it to your code repo and it will download it. You know, it will clone it and run an assessment on it. You get a, re a report out of it. And the report will tell you how many of the criteria are meeting for various levels, as I mentioned, the three tiers you're expected to hit the essential tier, okay? So make sure when you're submitting your projects, the code repositories, you are checking through the expectations there, the, the, the criteria that we expect you to meet, okay? So uh, again, that's, that's an important part here uh, of your submissions is not just to meet the technical requirements of the agent AI projects, uh, the first module being a RAG-based rag AI chatbot, uh, but also make sure the professionalism that is expected in your code is, is there. Uh, uh, the reason I, I'm bringing this up is because the work you, you do, anything that you're putting in the public domain is really used to judge you, right? If I always tell my team, like, this is, this is like you're auditioning for a role. And if you're applying for a job and you submit your resume and your resume has your GitHub profile attached on it or uh, mentioned on it, if you apply at ReadyTensor, one of the first things I will do is check your GitHub repo, uh, your repositories. And if I don't see the, the level of professionalism quality that I would expect from my team uh, most likely are going to get disqualified right there. Now, I, I can tell you this is a pretty common thing hiring managers do in the AI ML space. They will check your GitHub profile and check the quality of your work. So that's what we are trying to teach you here as well is not just the concepts of agent AI, but also the, uh, you know, the, the, the level of rigor and professionalism that is expected of you. So I hope this video was helpful in that regard. Make sure you're following this and uh, before your projects are submitted, verify you're meeting the requirements, okay? All right, I hope uh, this was helpful. I'll see you in the next video.